at this very sad time, <clears throat> uh, like many of you, uh, we have just received the very sad news of Jebjusu Jarambuche's passing into Parinirvana. And all of us are deeply saddened at this uh, very, very uh, unfortunate time for all sentient beings to have um, heard of this very, very difficult news. And all our prayers and thoughts are with you at this time. Of course, the passing away of one's teacher is one of the most saddest and challenging of times for all Dharma practitioners. But it is also during such a time that one's devotion and every profound teaching that one has received has to be brought into one's own mind and practice. Whenever one's teacher passes away, a meditator and a student experiences a situation which is like the brilliant sun completely disappearing during the daytime. And during this moment, one often encounters a sense of a uh, moment of uh, uncertainty. And such an uncertainty often brings fear and not knowing. It is very important, therefore, to turn one's mind, not just to the extreme loss that one has experienced, and particularly not letting the fear and the uncertainty and the sadness overwhelm you, but express one's gratitude for the tremendous blessing and the wisdom and compassion that one has received and recalling all of the profound teachings and the devotion in your heart to become the basis of clarity and even more steadfastness and certainty of the view of the Dharma. Therefore, it is one of the best offerings that we can make is to be together in harmony, uh, turn to the practice, and especially keep in heart the practice of Guru Rinpoche. All of our great teachers and Sujay Rinpoche uh, particularly is gathered within the mind stream of the great Mahaguru, Guru Rinpoche. Therefore, supplicate to Guru Rinpoche, do Vajra Guru mantras, and all of the various Guru Rinpoche prayers. And within Guru Rinpoche, see the indivisibleness of one's own Guru and supplicate and generate devotion. Reciting the Guru Rinpoche mantra, the Guru Rinpoche prayers, particularly the Sigdun Soldep, the seven line supplication to Pamakara, as well as continuing with all of your practices and doing the Guru Yoga practices will be very, very, I think, helpful for each practitioner and as also express one's devotion to one's own guru and allow oneself to really feel the presence of the guru with you. I have personally often thought that while uh, when the physical presence of the teacher is no longer with us, there is tremendous sadness. But at the passing of one's own guru, I felt also very much that Simply the absence of the physical presence of the guru somehow made oneself feel even more close and more near and that the guru was in every moment, everywhere. And so therefore, I am sure that with your hearts united together in devotion and prayers, you will each one of you find Sujara Bhuchi immediately with you at this very moment and even more close and more immediate than you have ever felt before. So please turn to practice, stay strong. This is a moment where the entire Rigpa Sangha needs to be together in harmony and truly embodying a perfect example of practitioners and students of a most wonderful teacher. We all remain with you in our prayers, in our thoughts, and we, 
send you all our prayers and blessings. And we hope that each one of you will find strength in your practice.